Greet everybody that's watching online. We love you so much. Thanks for coming, being with us tonight on Legacy Academy. Wow, God is so awesome. And um, we know that the Lord is going to do great things among us. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the nature of God's guidance. How many are ready for God to begin to lead and guide you? The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Sonship is not speaking here of of gender. It's talking about authority. You as a believer have been given authority to walk in the greatest, most blessed life of any human on the planet. You've not been called to mediocrity. You have not been called to a place where you never see the provision and blessing of God. Come on, somebody. You've been called to the overwhelming life of the Lord Jesus Christ, the same life that Jesus... Man, I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. The same caliber, the same quality of life that Jesus... The same quality. Somebody say quality. Quality. The same quality that Jesus' life was is the same quality that you and I as a believer have been given. Nothing less than God's best. Praise the Lord. Amen. That means I don't have to have fear of the future. Amen. Because I know that God is going to guide me into all truth. Amen. The Bible says that the Holy Ghost has been given. He's the spirit of truth. And he's going to guide us into all truth. Amen. And we've been given an unction from the Holy One. Amen. Touch your neighbor and say you've been given an unction. In other words, you've been given a quickening spirit. The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11 says, If the self-same spirit that resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead lives in us, he's going to quicken or make alive our mortal body. Amen. That means every part of your life is supposed to be alive. Amen. Hallelujah. The word life is zoe. Yes. Jesus is given to us the zoe life. The word Zoe there can be translated as the God kind of life. Amen. Oh, man. Amen. Some humans never see the God kind of life. But every born-again believer has the capacity. capacity. To receive the fullness of all of God's goodness. Wow. Your spirit has been expanded. The anointing will make you fat. Some Christians are initiated. They're far too skinny for what God has given to them. But you and I are going to feast doesn't matter what it looks like in the natural. They could be calling for famine, recession, depression. They could call it any word they want. We've been called to provision, outpouring, and overflow. Touch your neighbor and say, it's overflow time. Yeah, it's acceleration time. Praise God. It's overflow, acceleration, no looking back. We're about to take, praise God. About to take this Holy Ghost car in, into the next gear. Because we got the guide. Amen. And Jesus isn't going to miss the point. Praise the Lord. 
I, I, I just feel something in the spirit tonight that we're so blessed. And we don't have to be in stress. We don't have to think about what the enemy has planned for the future. Because God's provision and blessing, his mercy and his goodness are going to follow us all the days of our life. I tell you what, all I know is God's about to show up and show off for each and every one of us. For a follower of Christ, we can know without a shadow of a doubt that heaven has some great things in store for us. Romans chapter 8 verse 14, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Well, I don't feel it, Brother Charlie. Well, then put a piece of lead in your pocket. Start to feel that piece of lead. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 60 verse 8 says, Who are these that fly as a cloud and as doves to their windows? You and I have been called to fly above the circumstance, live above the turbulence, and walk in the realms of glory. Touch your neighbor say, you're a cloud walker. Mm-hmm. My God, you're supposed to, be, you're supposed to have those feet that are able to go anywhere without fear. We're going higher and higher in the things of the Spirit. Those who fly like clouds and like doves to the windows. In other words, the dove is always a symbol of the Holy Ghost. You and I are called to reflect the things of the Spirit. And what Isaiah saw was that there would be a people that would reflect the Holy Spirit so much. The, the third person of the Trinity, God and the earth, that we would reflect God so much that people would begin to see us as the God people. The Bible says in Colossians 1.27 that it was a mystery hidden from ages and from generations, but has now been revealed to us, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Amen. We are a mere image of Christ. Amen. When people see you, they see God. Amen. Yes. And the more that you get in tune with that, the more that you begin to understand that, the more that you'll begin to release that. Jesus Christ came to the planet to reveal to us who God was. Amen. How many believe that? Yes, Jesus came to the planet also to reveal who we are yes, amen. in Christ. Amen. You are not who you used to be. Amen. That's right. You are a new creation in Him. Hallelujah. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. Yes. That means new in quantity and quality. You're a distributor of the supernatural. You're a manufacturer of the kingdom of God. You were made to be on the planet for this moment in time. That no matter what darkness has in its arsenal, you have the answer through the Holy Ghost to dispel all realms of darkness. You've been given a sword of the Spirit, a shield of faith, a helmet of salvation, a breastplate of righteousness. You've been given the belt of truth. Praise God. You've been given the shoes of the gospel of peace. And you, wherever you go, you bring the peace of God. And you stomp on scorpions and serpents. I wish I had at least a few folk in Moravian Falls tonight. That we're ready to tread on some serpents and scorpions yes. and take the land yes. 
for Jesus. If you believe that, shout a mighty hallelujah tonight. Now tonight we're talking about the nature of God.